the medieval Gothic tarot. Inspired by the 12th century culture that flourished in the courts of Henry II and Eleanor of Aquitaine, whose marriage merged Britain and France into one kingdom. Their shared heritage of stories, myths, and legends resulted in the great epic tales that have come down to us as the Arthurian legends. One of the stories included in the canon is the tragic romance of Tristan and Isolde. I have used the images from that story in the Five of Pentacles and all of the twos in the Minor Arcana. When King Mark of Cornwall refuses to offer tribute to an Irish king, he sends his nephew Tristan, a great knight and harper, to Ireland to kill the king. There Tristan defeats the giant Morhalt. Grievously wounded, he is healed by the Princess Isult, a lady renowned for her beauty and shining golden hair. They fall in love, but Tristan must return to Cornwall. On his shirt is a strand of golden hair so beautiful that King Mark is haunted by visions of its owner. After many courtly disputes, King Mark sends Tristan back to Ireland to fetch Isolde to be his queen. Before they set sail, Isolde's attendant prepares a love potion to make Isolde and King Mark fall deeply in love with each other. On the ship, Tristan mistakenly thinks the potion is wine and shares a cup with Isolde. The potion takes effect sealing them in a passionate bond so strong it brings them to the brink of madness. Though Isolde marries King Mark, she and Tristan cannot bear to be apart. They carry on a clandestine affair. In the Two of Spears, we see Tristan waiting for Isolde in the garden while she looks toward Ireland in a wistful trance, but by their fiery spears, they communicate telepathically. Finally, Tristan and Isolde run away from King Mark's castle. They flee into the forest, unaware that King Mark and his knights are right behind them. Exhausted, they lay down in a glade, but before they go to sleep, Tristan puts his sword between them. When King Mark finds them, he takes Tristan's sword as a sign that they are chased and replaces it with his own. Eventually, King Mark gets Isolde back and imprisons her in the castle. The love potion is beginning to wear off and Isolde is suddenly unsure whether to continue her romance with Tristan or to accept her marriage to King Mark. Meanwhile, Tristan lives like a madman playing his harp and running naked in the forest. This is shown in the Two of Pentacles. Finally, he gives up on Isolde and marries Isolde of the White Hand. Again, grievously wounded in battle, he calls for the Isolde he truly loves, for only she can heal him. The message arrives that if she is coming, she will fly a white sail. If not, the ship will be hung with a black sail. Though Isolde is on her way, the jealous Isolde of the White Hands tells Tristan she sees a ship with a black sail. Tristan dies, but not before his beloved Isolde arrives to die with him.